Okay, um, we're uh, very lucky and uh, excited to have our friend Tom Papa back in the studio with us. You're in some, uh, you got a couple, you had a show last night, two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow night. Busy yeah. man. At the Comedy Works at the uh, Landmark. Very exciting. Which you've told me, uh, and not as a plug, you've told me too, it's one of your favorite rooms to play. It is. That's why I come back so often. It really is one of the best clubs. I mean, you know, it's not just because I'm there. <laughs> but that, but that definitely weekend. helps. I'm sure it's not the best club on other weekends, but well, this we, weekend for sure. It's <laughs> definitely the best club. <laughs> yeah. Did you get to see Game 7? Yes, I did. But I, I was traveling because I had to come in uh, for the shows. I was literally flying during the game coming from L.A. So it's only a two-hour flight. So I saw the beginning of the game, and I really was into it. I really wanted to see it. And then there was Wi-Fi on the flight. So I'm listening to it on the on the MLB broadcast, but that kept going in and out, and then I could get text messages from my sister. So when that was down, she was updating me, and then the game just kept going. So I actually got in the hotel and saw the end of it. Holy cow, insane! You know the the reason why I'm excited is because I threw out the first pitch at Wrigley. Did you Last really? August, yes. I didn't. Now you're from Jersey. So I How feel they... a little responsible for their good fortune. I think you are solely responsible. Well, I don't. For their win. I'm glad Take you said away. it because I didn't want to Take say it. it. <laughs> I wouldn't think twice about taking credit for that. Yeah. No. All, the, all the hitting, the pitching. Zobris, no. It was all Manning. Papa. Papa <laughs> threw out the first pitch. That <laughs> chubby guy going out there and throwing a 20 mile an hour. But did, you, That's well, but did you hit in the zone? Did I you... totally did. It's such a great shot. I, my my uh, niece uh, videotaped it, and uh, the catcher doesn't even move. Just right there, the ball tucked just nicely. Just dialed in. in. Ah. I'd be so worried I would Mariah Carey throw it, where she just kind of like goes, eh, yeah. and tosses it on the ground. I think I'd be better than that, but I think more highly of myself. You know who else did the Mariah Carey? Ooh. Chris Rock. And 50 Cent. Oh, okay. I remember 50 Cent. I don't remember Chris Rock. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Look it up good. on YouTube. Okay, I will look it's it up. really bad. And that's the problem with the first throwing out the first pitch. If you do it well, you have to tell people you did it. Sure. And nobody knows. Nobody cares. If you mess it up, oh, it's a sweet gem on YouTube for the rest of your life. Do you ever? <laughs> yeah. I talked about we're, we're uh, about the same age. 39. Yeah, exactly. 39 and still going strong. Do you ever think about, and I do from time to time, baseball was a hugely popular sport. Yeah. Probably still, arguably, uh, the American pastime when yeah. you and I were kids. Uh, the, the transaction has obviously changed a bit in terms of its popularity. And, uh, you know, we've talked about football before, too. Having yeah. Surpassed it by a lot. Sure. Do you ever think about what, um, what do you think has changed that dynamic? Uh, I don't know. I think... I'm not sure. I think it's a slower paced thing. You know, it's just a slower. The NFL and the NBA are just, they're quicker. They're, you know, it's flashier. It's more explosive. It kind of fits with the culture. It fits with the timing of things. I think that's it. I think the culture has a shorter attention span. Yeah. You know, I'm a baseball fan. I know a lot about baseball. When I watched that game the other night, and the broadcasters are talking. They're seeing things I don't see. There's, it's so deep. There's so much going on that it's really kind of unknowable for like a, or even a real, real fan. Yeah, you literally have to devote your entire life to it to be able yeah. to understand. Yeah, all wow. those, all... you're really pulling in millennial viewers because we want to devote our right, entire exactly. lives. Right, <laughs> exactly. It's, 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 it's a great sales pitch, Not isn't it? Playing as more, just watching. You it. have to quit everything else in your life so you can and know just, about baseball. I, I just think it's great. I mean, it's is it as great as going to see one of my shows? Probably not. <laughs> you don't have to think that much of my show. <laughs> There's no game within the game in my show. But like baseball, you can also have snacks during your show like you can during a baseball game. <laughs> you can eat during a baseball game. And a lot of alcohol. people in the stands. Like, players can eat during their game. It's pretty great. Like, what is that? <laughs> That's I why it's the great. You get to You're snack. like, let me have a little snack, and then I'm going to go play my professional sport. How like, great what? is that? It's ridiculous. I, uh, not to name drop, but I will name drop. I went to, uh, I get crazy at a baseball game. Like, I can't stop eating. I literally, like, I don't eat the day before because I know what's going to happen when I go into the stadium. And I one time went to a uh, Dodger game with Jerry Seinfeld. We were working on the B-movie at the time. And uh, the Dodgers were playing the Mets, so we went down to Dodger Stadium. We go in to watch the game. And 
as I always do, I'm just eating like crazy, not thinking that the cameras on ESPN are going to be on Jerry like 50 times during the... People were calling me the next day, people from radio stations, are you okay? Was this a make-a-wish come true? You were eating a different snack every time the camera came back. But so were the players. I so did, right? Yeah, exactly. Because your family not feed you, man. Eat something before yeah, the day. Literally, like, you were like, are you starving? Are you not being fed at home? All right, Tom Papa, thank you, as always, for coming by. Two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow night. Congratulations on throwing out the first pitch and, and leading the Cubs to victory this year. Well, I do what I can. If you guys need help with your team next year, well, just we have to throw out the pitch.